And breaking right now. We still have a downed tree on a major roadway down near Forsyth Park. Here's a live look at Whitaker Street and Gaston Street. As you can see, crews out there trying to get that mess and having that road blocked off so crews can get out there and get the mess cleaned up. Again, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, folks. Going to be hitting the roadways here before yeah. long, getting to and from work. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for starting your day with WJCL 22 News. I'm Frank Solkowski. He is Jonathan Myers. And yeah, you have wind gusts close to 60 in Savannah, so not surprised to see some uh, uh, trees down. Also some power outages as well. And we're going to tell you about some of those here in just a minute. So, yeah, we've had some bad weather overnight. Yes, we did. And uh, got some good news for all you viewers. Frank is going to be with us on the morning show from uh, now on. You're going to have to get up early right now. Yeah, we're going to, it's going to take some getting used to getting to these uh, six o'clock in the morning. There's some nights I'm just going to bed. Yeah, I bet. So watching those late night football games. Yeah, I watch those and I go home and then I, you know, I got to unwind. And so, yeah, it gets late. Uh, so now we're just going to get early. Yeah, maybe get a nap. That always usually helps sometimes. Well, there yeah. you go. How about I take one during this little weather? Here? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, you can do that. But as everyone's getting up this morning, well, the rain is out of here, but this may uh, woke you up overnight last night. Heavy rain, gusty winds with a cold front that was moving through. This was a look from Granger, Nissan of Savannah just after 2.30 this morning. We had some uh, downpours that were rolling through the area and also has some gusty winds around Chatham County. This is a, a video from earlier this morning from Southbridge Community. You can see the palm tree moving around there quite a bit. Like I said earlier, winds at times were gusting over 50 uh, with that front that was moving through the area and uh, there in Southbridge at the golf course. Boy, I'm sure they'll be picking up quite a few branches out there uh, this morning with uh, those gusty winds. Now temperatures too are another story last couple of days we were in the 80s even broke a record yesterday already in the 40s now that colder air continues to filter into our area 54 Beaufort 53 Savannah also for Hampton mid 50s at Tybee and 59 uh, for Hilton Head. here's where we're seeing those winds gusting still in the 40s there winds gusting for Hilton Head also for Tybee most of us will see winds gusting 30 up to about 40 miles per hour as we go throughout the rest of the morning now our forecast throughout the daytime it'll be windy this morning sunshine as we go throughout a good part of the daytime today and look at those temperatures only mid 50s for today, so a big shock. No more 80s in the forecast, but this chilly weather does not last too long. We'll see that warm up later this week. I'll detail that for you in less than 10 minutes. All right, thanks so much, Jonathan. Well, we want to go ahead and take a live look now at the Georgia power outage map right now. Nearly 12,000 people in the dark. I know a lot of folks down in Richmond Hill waking up with no power this morning. Stay updated. 